What if Tyson doesn't lose that fight? Different world. It's certainly, uh, he goes on to fight Evander Holyfield later that year. Uh, who knows what happens in that situation? We know that Holyfield would beat him in 96 and then beat him in 97 with the, the bite. Um, you know, the entire, it, you know, that's what's different about boxing too. Unlike every other sport, everything is contingent upon the last title fight. That, you know, it, it's not like uh, golf or tennis where no matter what, you've got the Masters next year, the PGA. This, everything is a domino effect. And who knows what would happen? If Mike wins that fight, does somebody eventually figure out the key is standing up to him, bullying him back, getting physical with him, working the jab? Uh, I, I, obviously, eventually, everybody, everybody except Marciano and Mayweather at some point, you know, uh, meets that end. But uh, it could have been years and years and years. I mean, he, he was, that's one of the things in the film that was fun, going back and exploring where Mike Tyson was in the cultural firmament at that oh, point. I mean, and there was nobody close. I mean, yeah. you were part of that. I mean, you saw that up yeah. close. I mean, he was the most famous, popular athlete on the planet. And there's this kind of innocence about him at that point. Like, you see that Good Morning America interview that we show a clip from where, you know, it's, you think it's Mr. Rogers, not Mike Tyson. He's still trying to figure out exactly who he is. When I interviewed him in the Catskills at Custom Motto's house, and... He came down with a pair of sunglasses on that were reminiscent of uh, Jim McMahon's. So he had these funky shades on. Right. And I go, hey, you're looking like Jim McMahon. He has no idea. He had no idea who. Boxers, that, that, it's changed a little bit because now, in this country at least, a lot of our boxers, the heavyweights anyway, are guys who did not succeed in other sports. And they've gone into boxing afterwards. But, but in the old days, and even the Tyson days, Boxing is so singular. The boxers are so laser focused. Everything else seems to them like a game. I've, I've known a lot who don't pay any attention to other sports. They, they don't even know what other sports are about. And Buster didn't do much after that. You know, he had his. No. So he, Buster. He got paid a lot in the. He, like, like he got the biggest mil- paycheck at that time in the history of sports after that fight. $24 million. What did he get paid for the Tyson fight? 1.2. Okay. And then he got Mike $24 got million and then he lost to Holyfield? Holyfield. Yeah. Eight months later. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.